Hey, it's Vass here from Metro Hobbies. Once again, we are back with another Lacy product. This one is the Laser Nut. It has been out for a little while, um, but now it's time to show it off and see what this car is all about. Okay, so as always, when you take one of these out of the box, we'll have a look at what you actually get in there. Now, of course, you do get the car fully assembled and ready to run. You get the radio and you get a little baggie with some manuals and bits and bobs. So in here, we have a spare pinion just in there. Uh, now, this is maybe obviously to run like a high speed pinion, I presume, uh, or it could be for when you want to run like a 4S battery or something like that. You'll need to check the manual for that one. A uh, couple of spare Allen keys, a little cross wrench. There it looks like to be an antenna tube in here as well. And uh, what looks to be like a little low C laser nut badge. Um, so that's kind of cool. Looks like a dog tag of some sort. And of course you got the manual. Now these bags do come sealed and because uh, this is not our product, I'm going to leave this one sealed. I can't really open anything up in there. Now the radio is one that we have uh, showed off on the channel here before. It is the DX3. Uh, this is an excellent radio from Spectrum, a very good reliable unit. You have a little toggle switch just on the handle here. Uh, this can hel help uh, to do some programming uh, or you could also hook up uh, to a spare channel on the receiver and uh, you know, make use of that particular switch there. Runs on four double A's, has a nice foam wheel, uh, which is actually quite comfortable to hold in the hand. No big collapsible antennas or anything like that for you to break off. Uh, and then on the back here, you have an LED indicator. Now this is to kind of show you the, uh, uh, I guess the voltage of your battery pack that you're using in the car, but this only applies if you're using Spectrum batteries. I have tried to use this with uh, regular batteries and it doesn't really register anything. So if you're using Spectrum batteries, uh, you will be ac actually be able to see uh, what kind of, like how much power your battery's got left via those little LED lights. On top here, you have your uh, steering and throttle reverse switches. This is your speed limiter switch just down the bottom here. So you have 175 and 50%. So you can actually turn those down uh, if you want to. And then down the side, uh, the first knob here is your uh, steering rate, or uh, in this case, it's been used for AVC. So uh, like some of the other low C vehicles or Horizon Hobby cars, uh, so the premium ones mainly, uh, they will have AVC included. Uh, this one has AVC as well, which stands for Active Vehicle Control, which is kind of like a gyro. And uh, you can tune that gyro by turning this little knob here. So you can turn it all the way down if you don't want to see any gyro kind of influence uh, the driving aspects of the car, or you can turn it up as much as you want. Over here you have the brake rate, uh, which is actually a really cool thing uh, to have the brakes uh, adjustable on the uh, on the radio just on the fly. Uh, here you have your steering trim, which obviously just aligns the car to make sure that it's driving straight, and the throttle trim, which generally we don't really touch, we'll leave that in the neutral position. On and off uh, button is down the back here, and then there's a little bind button just down the bottom here as well in case you need to rebind the radio to the uh, receiver, which uh, you shouldn't have to, this should already be bound from, uh, from factory. And that's the radio, that's the DX3, really nice radio. I'm very happy that actually Spectrum are including these with a lot of their vehicles. Okay, so moving on to the car itself, this is a big 1.8 scale, however, it is based on a 10 scale platform. So this is the Tenacity uh, chassis, as you'll see here, it's a Tenacity Pro chassis, which has the beautiful aluminum chassis. You've got aluminum shocks as well as uh, shock towers and so forth. But what they've done here is they've kind of given us 2.2 inch wheels, uh, which I believe are a licensed BF Goodrich wheel uh, and, and tire. And um, you know, you've got a spare tire on the back, the whole thing looks a little bit different, and it's just this big 1.8 scale buggy now, which is fantastic. This is a really nice looking car. Uh, comes in two color schemes. Of course, we have the blue here on display, but there is also a black edition, which looks very stealthy, looks very nice. Uh, and then you have all these um, kind of little details that spread out throughout the car, which add to the, uh, to the whole experience of owning one of these. So first off, you've got LEDs right on the top here. Uh, these are actually quite bright and there's also LEDs on the front of the car just there. Uh, you got scale drivers inside, you got the spare wheel on the back as I've said earlier and this is a genuine spare tire so if you do happen to have a flat on one of the other ones uh, you can use that one there. Um, 
and then uh, you have all these little vents. Now, some of these vents are, are fake. They're just here for show. Uh, but to have all of these little details kind of uh, not just printed on or stick it on, but they're actual plastic vents, which look really, really nice, uh, really adds to the scale detail of this vehicle. The back one as well, there's quite a, a big one on the back just there. Uh, and even the drivers, I've just noticed as well, they, from the helmets, they have these little hoses that go down to these like little fake kind of oxygen tank on the back of the car just there, uh, which again adds to the scale realism of this uh, of this particular vehicle, which is a really really nice car. I really like these uh, these laser nuts. They they look fantastic, uh, and given that they all have uh, you know independent suspension all the way around because they're based on that tenacity platform, which handles amazing. Um, then yeah, the, the, the car is going to drive fantastic as well. Uh, so that's pretty much it for the outside. Now there's only two body pins holding this guy in place. So you just remove them. Uh, they've got tethers on, so really nice to take those out. And then just pop the, uh, the lid here and the whole thing just kind of swings open and you'll be able to kind of just see what's inside the car and work on it and change batteries and do whatever it is you need to do there. So. A really nice touch that they've done uh, with this car to be able to access it so quickly. So the battery tray, uh, from what I can tell, is non-adjustable lengthwise. Um, so it's all one piece, and then you have three battery trap, uh, three ba battery straps uh, to hold your battery in place there. So this will only fit uh, standard, uh, conventional sort of 3S or 4S batteries. You won't be able to get anything kind of out of the ordinary unless you start dremeling out things like, you know, the back of the battery tray so that the batteries kind of hang out the back a little bit more. Um, but yeah, I wouldn't necessarily recommend that. The speed controller is 130 amps uh, and it does come with the IC5 uh, connectors, which of course are compatible with EC5 connectors. Uh, if you are using non-spectrum batteries, you can just put EC5s on there. Uh, and then the motor itself, this is a 550 size motor and it is, it is a 1900 kV. So I think it's a 3670 or 3674 from memory. Um, so it's a, it's a nice size motor. Uh, and as I said, it's capable of handling either 3S or 4S. Uh, you have an S614 Spectrum steering servo here. And then of course you've got your AVC receiver mounted on the side of the servo just there. Uh, now they do say that these are waterproof electrics, uh, but I would use a little bit of caution if you are planning on splashing through some deep water because the receiver is not inside a receiver box. I don't know how waterproof that receiver actually is. So maybe splashing through the wet grass and so forth will be okay. But if you are gonna go into some bigger puddles, I'll use caution there. The on and off switch for the ESC is also positioned uh, just there and it's just a push button which I really appreciate. Uh, it seems to be um, more, as, you know, as time goes on, we're starting to see less and less of those slider switches which always seem to turn themselves off as you're running the vehicle and I, and I speak from personal experience, it's one of the more frustrating things that you have uh, to have the, um, you know, rerunning your car and then having to walk over just to turn it back on. So to have a little push button switch is a, is a big plus. Um, and then as you can see, there's another wire that runs all the way through here inside the body. And of course that leads to the LEDs that are mounted uh, or, you know, pre-mounted in the body there as well. So uh, as we move along, uh, as I said, we've got aluminum shock towers here. We've got aluminum uh, shock bodies. These are threaded bodies as well, which makes adjusting, uh, you know, spring tension very easy by simply turning those, uh, those little collars there. We have uh, adjustable um, camber. Uh, camber links here, we have adjustable uh, uh, steering links there as well and adjustable camber links in the rear. The arms are nice and beefy on these cars, uh, so these should last you uh, quite a while and be quite uh, you know, uh, resilient to some impacts and things like that. There are no droop screws, although provisions are there for droop screws, so you can probably install droop screws on this guy if you want to uh, on the actual A-arms. That's pretty much it. Uh, this, as I said, this is based on the Tenacity platform. So when we did the uh, unboxing of the, uh, the DB Pro a little while ago, a lot of this is going to be quite familiar. Um, I think this is, a, yeah, this is a very similar platform. And uh, yeah, it's just a fantastic car. Uh, looks, looks really, really good. Very scale. And uh, it's got plenty of power, obviously, running on 3S and 4S.
Okay, so that wraps up yet another unboxing here at Metro Hobbies. This is the Losi Laser Nut, and I'm uh, pretty impressed with what I see here. This is a fantastic looking car, and uh, hopefully one day I'll get my uh, hands on, a, on one that I can actually drive around and take out for a bash pop. And in the meantime, thank you all very much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to hit the thumbs up button. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you're new, and I'll be speaking to you all next time.